Hey guys we are going to discuss about the top 3 industries driving China's economy as we already know China is the world's largest emerging market economy, both in terms of population and total economic product. Oh yeah and make sure to subscribe our channel for latest and amazing updates and reports the country is arguably the world's most important manufacturer and industrial producer. And those two sectors alone account for more than 40% of China's gross domestic product, or GDP. China is also the world's largest exporter and the second largest importer, and it contains the fastest growing consumer market. Major industries include manufacturing, agriculture and telecommunication services. As of 2015, the Asian giant is among the most important economic powers on a global scale. It was not always this way, however, and as little as 50 years ago, China was a struggling nation of extreme hunger, poverty and repression. Between 1978 and 2008, the size of the Chinese economy multiplied nearly 50 times over, and average annual GDP growth was approximately 10%. The initial reforms focused on agriculture but soon spread to the services and light manufacturing sectors. The three industries driving China's economy are as follows 1. Manufacturing 2. Services 3. Agriculture Let's get to it. Number 1 Manufacturing China is a world leader in many types of goods. For example, almost 80% of all air conditioner units are created by Chinese businesses. China manufactures more than 45 times as many personal computers per person than the rest of the world combined. It is also the biggest producer of solar cells, shoes, cell phones and ships. China makes and sells more manufacturing goods than any other country on the planet. The range of Chinese goods includes iron, steel, aluminum, textiles, cement, chemicals, toys, electronics, rail cars, ships, aircraft and many other products. As of 2015, Manufacturing is the largest and most diverse sector in the country. The Chinese car industry grew out of a national focus on automobiles in the 1990s, a decade when Chinese manufacturers nearly tripled total car output. Though car consumption eventually caught up after 2005, most of these early cars were destined for the export markets because the vast majority of Chinese citizens were too poor to purchase the products themselves. Number 2 Services A 2010 world study found the services sector accounted for 43% of total Chinese production, slightly less than its manufacturing sector. However, there are still more Chinese employed in agriculture than in services, which is a rarity for more developed countries. Before economic reform in 1978, shopping malls and private retail markets did not exist in China. As of 2015, however, there is a young and burgeoning services market. This has bolstered tourism and led to a proliferation of internet and phone products. As of 2013, only the United States and Japan boasted a higher services output than China, which represents a significant shift for the country. A healthy services sector is a sign of healthy domestic consumption and per capita wealth increases, in other words, the Chinese people are gaining the capacity to afford their own output. Number 3 Agriculture As productive as the aggregate agricultural industry in China is, comparative statistics show that Chinese farms are among the least productive in the world on a per capita basis. Some analysts attribute this, in part, to unfavorable climate. Yet, a 2012 Deutsche Bank study concluded that South Korean farmers are 40 times more productive than Chinese farmers despite facing similar topographical and environmental conditions. Others point to a large degree of state control over Chinese farms as the problem. Farmers are not allowed to own and mortgage farmland and cannot get credit to purchase better capital equipment, two functions which promote innovation and development. Another area where the Chinese set the global standard is in agriculture. There are nearly 300 million Chinese farmers, larger than the entire population of every country except China, India and the US. Rice is the dominant agricultural product in China, but the country is also very competitive in wheat, tobacco, potatoes, peanuts, millet, pork, fish, 
soy beans, corn, tea and oil seeds. Farmers also export large amounts of vegetables, fruits and novel meats to nearby countries and regions, Hong Kong in particular. Up and coming industries The 12th Five Year Economic Plan by the Chinese government for the fiscal years 2011 to 2015 identifies seven strategic industries as high priority biotechnology, information technology, new energy, environmental maintenance, new materials, high end manufacturing, and alternative fuels. Large government investments are being made into these areas. And thus conclude our report and oh yes to www.investopedia.com and do make sure to subscribe for more similar amazing videos and up to dated see you again soon and be sure to let me know your thoughts by commenting below.